He went from prison to local entrepreneur and philanthropist. And our DeMarco Morgan has the story of one man's mission to cultivate culture and commerce. Suzanne, I've told you this before. Former boss of mine in Miami, Yvette Miley, once told me what's for you is for you. And she went on to say that, believe it or not, you don't even have the power to mess up what's meant to be. As I found out, that saying rings true for the man you're about to meet this morning. From the outside, it looks like a modern yet traditional storefront. But once inside, so folks here in Lemert Park. I consider it like Afrofuturism. You'll find one of a kind items. Designer sneakers, sweatshirts, uh, candles, jewelry, um, a lot of uh, cut and sew pieces. Pieces developed and or created by more than 50 local fashion designers, artists and creatives. It's a vision brought to life by its founder and owner, Akil West. I just wanted to create a space in the Lemur Park where they could see black people, black men and women doing what they really desire to do. West, along with his team, set out to do just that not long after the start of the pandemic. Their goal, to make sure people had a way to make ends meet. Our first day we opened, man, we had people making like 17 grand. We have people who sell like four to five dollar items, making six, seven thousand dollars, paying their rent up for the whole, you know, the whole of last year. We have a co-op working space, kind of like a we works for artists, and we have everything that we need inside of this space to market and produce product and make it happen. All right, come on down to forty three seventeen. You know, people are religiously coming in here. And it's almost like a duty to come in here and take care of these people up in here. To understand Wes's mission, one must first understand his story. You spent time behind bars. I got incarcerated for doing a, uh, I guess it was, it was considered residential burglary. High end open houses in Hollywood Hills. One day we just saw, you know, that it was some valuables around and, you know, my girlfriend at the time and I, we walked into the space and we, we took it. We figured there were rich people, we figured that insurance would take care of it, and we did this for a long period of time. That's until the day he was caught and arrested back in 2004. He was sentenced to serve 14 years in prison, and after his first year, Wes says he escaped and fled the country to Mexico. Several weeks later, he drove back to the U.S. and turned himself in and was resentenced to serve 15 years and four months. After serving a total of 13 years, West was released back in 2018. Looking at you, listening to you, you would never in a million years imagine that you have been behind bars. You know, it's, it's more important that you come back out and do something for the community so you can stop other people from making these type of mistakes. Wes tells me he was able to start his businesses after a ton of reading and studying behind prison walls, Amity Foundation's re-entry program, and while maintaining important relationships he had before he entered jail. Today, you'll find Wes giving back through organic food giveaways and creating spaces like this all new free community art studio, Soul Folks Art Lab as well. What would your advice be to someone who has gone through what you've gone through? The thing is manifesting, man. You have to always see what you want. You know, when I sat in that place for all them years, man, I thought about this and I couldn't wait to come here. You know what I'm saying? Once you see it, you can achieve it and that's real. I love it. He's so right about, you know, manifesting. And on our website, we have a link to organizations that help qualified former inmates and others at risk get back on track and find work. And uh, just go to CBSLA.com and click Scene on TV. You see Ferris right there. Uh, that's part of our web extra. She is Ferris Mason. She's responsible for getting uh, most, if not all, of those designers under that one roof. She's cool. She's mad fun. And she founded uh, Come Up LA, which helps designers across uh, the city sort of get on their feet and get their start and, and, and become household name so uh, I enjoyed that piece there. Oh I love it because you can have a place to sell your items and mm -hmm. really make a lot of money which is wonderful to shop small and local and I believe in rehabilitation. Yeah. You know, yeah. If you serve a sentence you shouldn't have a life sentence of being out of work and struggling. If people have served their time they deserve to be able to build a life. Yeah, Just because you've yeah. gone through something doesn't mean your best days are not ahead. Yeah. Beautiful. I yeah. like that. I mean, preach. Yeah. Somebody say preach, DeMarco. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> He's taking us to church this morning. I know. Thank you for sharing. That's such a great story.